How did life on Earth begin? For hundreds of years, scientists have been working hard in an attempt to figure out how life on Earth really began. They've gathered evidence, made observations, intellectual assumptions, analyzed information from different sources, and drawn interferences to come up with a theory that we now refer to as evolution. So what is evolution? Well, evolution is described as a process by which hereditary traits of a species alter drastically over time. Science and religion play a major role in how the earth came about. The belief of evolution was not accepted by everyone. Science and religion play a big role in how the earth came about. Scientists have created the term and have evidence to support it, but religion and cultural beliefs of people often suggest otherwise. This is mainly why religion and science do not exactly coincide. In 1650, an Irish scholar and theologian made calculations based on knowledge of astronomy, history, and the Bible to figure out, really, just how old the earth was. Archbishop James Usher stated that the earth was created on Sunday, October 23rd, 4004 BC. This calculation of the creation of the earth was made solely on dates and other events taken from the Bible. So do people have the same idea now as they did a long time ago? Well, of course they didn't. 500 years ago, the belief was that changes hardly occurred and that their natural environment had absolutely no effect on their change because they were immutable. Immutability is described as the idea of unchanged and unchanging characteristics of life forms. Over the years, however, technology seemed to have proved otherwise. Today, people are more open and knowledgeable of change, and we now recognize and understand that change occurs very often and it is a very natural and inevitable part of life. Fossil evidence, evidence of remains of organisms or its activity that were preserved, was a more scientific way of recording diversification of different species and also those species that are extinct. In addition to this, scientists discovered vital information from geographic distribution of organisms that brought them closer to fully understanding evolution. By the beginning of the 19th century, there was so much evidence gathered that scientists were able to conclude that the earth was very old and that there were changes occurring in the earth. Today, scientists have come up with a fairly general agreement about details pertaining to evolution. That is, that it is a series of changes that have occurred on Earth over billions of years. So what have we learned today? According to Genesis, God created our universe in six days. According to some of the latest scientific ideas, God was not involved in the creation. In the beginning, the universe erupted spontaneously out of nothing. A featureless ferment of quantum energy inflated bubbles of space with cosmic proportions, filling the void with a fireball of heat. Out of this fireball came all matter and all physical structures. As the fireball faded, so the stars began to shine, generating planets and eventually life. Thus, the universe became self-aware. Religion is our internal truth. Science is our external. What's your personal belief? Well, there's so much evidence now from molecular biology and genetics that provides scientists with a fairly good understanding of evolution. But even with that, there are still so many more questions that arise, offering an abundance more room just for learning. 
Thank you for listening. Bye!